welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. Tonight we're going back to Suffolk and we're having a beer that uh, it's quite, what's the word I'm looking for, strong shall we say. And that, at least that's how Adnams describe it. It's a strong original ale commemorating the Battle of Sol Bay 1672. What beer is it? Well, if you haven't sussed that out by clicking on the video and realising what you're watching, it's this one. Adnams Broadside. It weighs in at 6.3% and they describe it as being Broadside is brewed to commemorate the Battle of Sol Bay in 1672. This dark ruby red beer is full of fruitcake flavours and is great savoured with some strong cheddar. Well, I like cheddar, I like beer, but I don't have any cheddar with me at the minute to try it with, so I'll just have to take your word for it, Adnams. I'm looking forward to trying this one, and what more can I tell you? Well, there's not a lot more that's offered in terms of information on the bottle, so there's no information about what particular hops are included, um, what type of malts are used, but that's not for every manufacturer to do. They don't have to. It's up to them if they do. But it's nice to know. Anyway, let's crack it open. Let's see what all the fuss is about. There we go. So it pours. It's a nice dark, dark ale. No head to speak of, but again, that's neither here nor there. Like I say, it's very dark. It's, it appears a little bit darker than, uh, than maybe it really is on video. It looks almost like a porter and a, and a stout. Let's see if I can get some light going through it for you. Probably not. There you go. Look towards the bottom of the glass. You can see more of a representation of colour there. It really is a rich, rich mahogany kind of colour. And that bodes well. It's likely to have lots of strong complex flavours. Let's have a bit of a whiff. Yeah, it does smell malty, very malty in fact. Elements of uh, other beers of a similar nature. Um, malts, deep roasts, smells good. Let's uh, give it a try. Mm. I wasn't wrong on the uh, on the heavy roast. All the malts that have gone in here have clearly been roasted to within an inch of their life, and that adds a real deep, complex, almost smoky flavour that you might find in almost like a whiskey esque note to it. And I guess that's why it would work quite well with cheese. It's a strong smoky flavour. The sharpness of a good cheddar would uh, cut through nicely. Mm. I see what they mean by the fruitcake flavours. I mean, I say other beers of a similar style that I've had before do bear remarkable similarity. And I guess it's not ex exactly unexpected that a strong ale would have similarities, you know, so there's that rich, deep colour there's those beautiful dark roasted flavours and I'm getting less of the fruit cake now that I the fruit cake flavours I do get in some other beers around about the same sort of strength and the same sort of colour as this but not so much from uh, from the broadside however it's very nice it is very nice it's the sort of ale that you have on a nice cold winter's night, sitting by a roasting hot fire. It's a warming beer, and that's what I like. And the colours on the bottle kind of lend that same kind of atmosphere. You know, there's deep reds, and, uh, and that deep, the detail on the boat. I don't know how well you can see it here, but it looks nice. It in plies strength on the bottle 
and the beer is quite strong and very tasty and very forthcoming in its flavours. Yeah, this is a, a real ale lover's ale. It's not sweet in any way up front. It does fade into a, like a, a slightly sweeter malty edge to it, but but yeah, it's definitely a traditional ale lover's ale. I'm not getting a huge amount of hop, I must say. But I guess not all ales have that as a hop forward quality. Now, getting down to brass tacks, would I buy it again? It depends on the mood you're in really. I mean tonight it's getting a bit chilly outside, it's not that much above freezing, it's early November, it's kind of getting a bit chilly. And when you want a nice warming beer, this would do the trick. Maybe a little bit more hop wouldn't go amiss, but it's not unpleasant in any way, shape or form. Like I say, if you like them really rich and malty with that dark roasted flavour, then Broadside is right up your alley. So yes, I would buy it again. Like I say, it's more of an, an autumnal, wintry drink as opposed to a, a, a bright, light, summery ale. But hey, we're getting to that time of year, so happy days. What would I give it as a score on Untapped? Well, it has qualities that I like. But I'm also a big hop fan. So I can't give it ridiculously high marks because like I say it's missing that element that I truly love in a beer and I guess that's what makes us all human we like different things and beer is a very subjective thing it's I don't know I honestly don't know it's, it's definitely more than a three is it more than a four I'm not sure I'll have to figure that bit out. So, and the only true way to figure out how much of a score I would give it is to finish it all off and then make a decision at the end. Because let's let's face it, we've got to have a, a truly informed decision for a score. So, ladies and gentlemen, on that glorious note, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and finish this beer and pop up a score. So, thank you, ladies and gents, for watching. This has been the Adnams Broadside. I have been Nick. And I will see you again soon. Bye.